Yo, what the fuck is up, guys? It's Miss Fest and I'm back here with yet another trove video today on the Xbox, and we are on the Gunslinger, almost level 28, but I'm probably not gonna hit it in this video because I was grinding for like the last half hour, two hour in Shadow Towers because one, I have a lot of hard keys, I'm getting a bunch of shadow caches, and I'm probably gonna do an unboxing on those eventually in the channel. So I'm actually gonna go in the Shadow Tower, show you guys my damage, show you how fast I clear things. I clear floors pretty quickly. And I also got an emblem the other day. It is the Chronomatic Emblem. I've been saving up my cubits for actually quite a few days now. I think it was about four or five days. And I got just enough to get the Chronomatic Emblem. Now, if you don't know what this emblem does, it makes it so every time you pop a flask, your cooldown on your uh, abilities actually uh, goes faster. I'll show you that uh, right now. As you guys can see, my LB right now is taking a very long time to actually cool down. So you pop a few flasks. And then you get it back very quickly, and then you just press LB basically, because that's all the gunslinger is, is fucking, there you go. And then uh, as you keep doing damage, why not just keep spamming Y, doing fucking 12 to 15 million a hit, which is, I'm perfectly fine with. I mean, I'm clearing the floors pretty good. But there's actually a few things I wanted to go ahead and talk about today. <clears throat> so, in the, yesterday's video, uh, I did, I wasn't able to respond to every single comment, which I really hate. I love responding to every single comment, because a lot of you guys actually come back and comment every single day, which is incredible, and it means a lot to me. But um, I've been really busy with work and stuff like that, like I've said in the past. It's starting to calm down a lot more now. Uh, as you guys can see, the video is not going up at 7 or 8 o'clock at fucking night tonight. It's actually going to go up at a reasonable time. Uh, back to where I really kind of like uploading. I like to upload between 5.30 and 6.30. Nowhere after, nowhere before. Because after you guys eat dinner or whatever, or maybe while you're eating dinner, watch my fucking video. And if you have parents at the dinner table, they're going to probably beat your ass because I'm swearing so much. But anyways... Um, so I was reading through the comments, and you guys did not like me playing the Fate Trickster now. I don't know if this is like a uh, re reoccurring thing on every time I do a character up to level 10. So please let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want me to even do a level 10 playthrough. Because uh, if you guys don't know, I do characters up to level 10, 20, and then also up to 30. Now, if you guys just want to see level 20, or if you want, just want to strictly see level 30, I'm perfectly fine with. I'm just waiting to level up my characters to uh, record one day. So if you guys don't want to see me, level me leveling up characters... Uh, definitely let me know down in the below so I don't put out content that you guys don't want to see because what in the fun what what the fuck is that? Who wants to put out content you don't want to see? So uh, if you guys don't want to see me level up the Fate Trickster, the Knight, the Gunslinger, or not the gun oh, obviously the Gunslinger I'm going to be playing as because you guys want to see it as a main character. But um, if you guys don't want to see me level up uh, any other character like the, what the fuck, Ice Age, I can do a little bit more on the Boom Ranger and other stuff like that. The only characters I have level 10 I'm pretty sure still are the Ice Age I haven't gotten up there. And I can't remember any other class that I actually haven't gotten level 10 yet. Uh, I'm just gonna check right now as I'm being attacked. Um, Fate Tricks, Dry's got the level 10, Dracula's 15, a Tomb Razor is almost level 10, and every, other than that, every other character is level 10, so that's actually pretty cool right there. Also, uh, I was thinking about eventually when I get bored of the Gunslinger and I'm just sick of playing him and stuff like that, like I, I, am, I'm, I am enjoying the Gunslinger a lot right now, and I don't see myself getting bored anytime soon, but when I do, I'm definitely going to either switch over all my gems to bolt or to either the Chloromancer and be a full Chloromancer DPS build. I, I mean, I could do that. I could try it out and see how that works out, and then get just get to level 30. And if the Chloromancer sucks at level 30 with a full DPS build, then I can obviously switch them over to my other character, which I want my other character to be a Tomb Raider. Now, the reason I want my character to be a Tomb Raider is because I find the Tomb Raider kind of enjoyable. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but because um, you have to keep throwing down your allies, which is like your LT, and it has a little bit of a cooldown stuff like that. Um, but I think it's be really fun, and I don't see that many people actually play the Tomb Raider. I know it's like uh, a few people actually main him. I'm not sure if there's any mains in my club actually, because I haven't seen anyone over 10k, barely anyone even over 5k, and barely anyone even playing the character. So I think it's gonna be a really cool idea because nobody plays a, a Tomb Raider. Um, once if you guys don't know the Tomb Raider's ultimate is you throw down a up to five allies with your LT. And then you can actually press your LB and turn it into a gigantic monster with that dance that we do. You can even do a dance and it'll do a little bit of dance too. But um, actually, I think that's really cool. And you can go dungeon to dungeon and he won't go away. You can heal him up a little bit so he does have a little bit more time. And uh, he won't go away like immediately. And so it's kind of like the Chloromancer where like, you can heal your flowers and uh, make sure that they uh, pop up and spawn quickly. But for that, you can just keep his, keep his health up. I don't think he actually loses health in a fight. I'm not too sure though, so don't quote me on that. But the Tomb Raider is definitely been a character on my mind also. But like I said, this is down the road when I'm actually bored of the Gunslinger. Not going to happen anytime soon. Probably a few months to come actually because there's a lot of stuff I want to do in this game. A lot of stuff I actually want to get accomplished. And I actually do these floors a lot quicker. But uh, I can't really focus right now because I'm trying to do a commentary and focus on what I'm saying and focus on playing at the same exact time. So uh, yeah. But if you guys are wondering why I'm in the Shadow Tower, you get like 23 to 25,000 XP per floor. 
and that's definitely pretty fucking badass especially since i have all these keys and i want to get a bunch of shadow caches unbox an egg and if i get a second egg i'm either going to sell it or give it away probably just give it away because why the fuck not it's only 300k flux anyways not really a big deal so that's also something i'm working towards but like i said definitely go down in the comment section below and let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the channel so I know I'm not uploading a bunch of videos that nobody's watching because I don't want you guys to get go on the channel and be like, oh, he's leveling up his Ice Age today? Fuck that. I don't want to watch that because that, that definitely sucks some dick. So I definitely make sure I want to know everything you guys want to see. I know a lot of you guys want to see the Gunslinger. A lot of you guys want to see the Neon Ninja. Like I said in yesterday's video, I actually got a really good class gem for the Neon Ninja. Rolled the max health once, rolled the physical damage the second time, and crit hit the third time, or crit damage the third time. So I'm definitely going to be playing the Neon Ninja a little bit more. Also, this week, if you guys don't know, the contests actually are for the Boom Ranger and Neon Ninja. So, I might even switch over a few of my gems from the Shadow Hunter to the Boom Ranger because I'm not going to get top 250 for the Neon Ninja because a lot of people play the Neon Ninja. I think there's like, I think it need to be 16.5k just for top 250. And for the Boom Ranger, not that many people play him at all. So, I should definitely be able to cop a class, uh, a class fucking key. There we go, like a class key. I think that's what the hell it's called. I can't remember right now. But um, I'm definitely going to be excited about that. And when I do actually get the key, I'm probably going to get the class gem for maybe I'll get a different one for the Boom Ranger. Because if you guys don't know, my Boom Ranger class gem is complete and utter shit. I'm actually going to switch to it right now just so I can show you guys how awful this class gem is. So, it's right here. It has health regen and crit hit. Let me know why this is even effective. I have other gems on it too. I didn't even realize I actually have gems. I have a lot of tanky ones. This one's a radiant, so it's shit. But this one's not that bad. I tried making this character a little bit tanky. I saw someone in the chat, he had like 2 million health for the fucking Boom Ranger, but I guess he still had a decent amount of damage, so like, rest in peace. Oh, and I'm on the wrong class, rest in peace. Alright, where the fuck? Alright, am I retarded? Where's the Gunslinger? There we go. Anyways, in other news, I actually have a really big unboxing coming next week if it's boxes open. Any Anytime where it's boxes open, I'm pretty sure it's next week or the week after that. I'm unboxing all my Venture boxes that I have been saving up for probably two or three weeks. I definitely have over a couple hundred of them and I'm actually really excited to open them because maybe I'll get them out, I'll just end up selling all of it, getting a bunch of Flux, and I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with the Flux, probably for my Stellars. I actually was gonna upgrade a few of my Stellars in this video, I don't know if we're gonna have time because I'm, I wanna do this and also talk about a few things. So definitely be expecting me leveling up some Stellars in tomorrow's video and also a little twist to it, probably. I'm gonna make that video entertaining, so don't you worry. But anyways, like I was saying, oh yeah, Venture Boxes. So if it is boxes open up, the reason I'm saving that is because 200 chests, or I think I have around 200 chests, I wanna say. But um, it's a lot to actually come by, and um, the 200 chests, especially on box opened up, I don't want to go and do 200 fucking dungeons to actually get the dun or to actually get the chests and open them up. So I've been saving up, saving up a bunch of my strobes as well. But I'm not probably not gonna open those up. I'm probably just gonna keep stacking them up until I decide what I actually want to do with them. But as of right now, it is uh, blocks destroyed for the weekly challenge. I'm pretty sure the bomb prices have skyrocketed. I'm not too sure. I have been making my own bombs all day. Because in yesterday's video, I was grinding U9 Fire. And also today, I was grinding U9 Fire. Got a good 2-star gem. Only had like 400 power rank though, sadly. But it's crit damage, magic damage, and crit hit. Rolled in the crit hit the first time. Magic damage the second time. And crit damage the third time. So when I'm level 30, I'll slap this bitch on. And it's going to be a very good day. So I'm very excited about that as well. In other news, in real life news, I put my fucking air conditioner in my window finally. So uh, basically how my setup is right now, I have to turn my fan off. Close my door because I don't want other background noise. Oh my fucking god, someone's got... Oh, someone got the egg I want. GG's. <laughs> nice. I have to shut off my fan. I have to make sure like my computer's not being too fucking loud. And I also have to shut my door because of the background noise. I don't want anything like that to happen. Um, So, it gets very hot in my room. And I'm actually sweating right now. But I put my AC in. So that means as soon as I'm done recording, I can go slap it on. And my room will get cold immediately. Which is amazing. And I don't have to wait for my fucking fan to warm... Or, to cool up my room because right now I live in New York and it's 92 degrees right now like it was over 85 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning and yeah you can best believe your boy snowman is fucking melting in my goddamn house so I definitely needed an AC I had a gigantic one actually in here but I don't need it anymore in my room I'm gonna bring it downstairs so I can get the whole downstairs it's literally like a fucking $500 air conditioner and it's the size of my goddamn window and it makes, it feels like a refrigerator is just open, fucking flying at your full speed. So I fucking freeze my tits off over here and I can't control it. But that's going back downstairs. I got the smaller one up here now. And it's going to be a good time. I think we're actually done with the start of the moon. And when it is, I will end the video off. But as you guys can see, if you need help getting XP and stuff like that. Or don't know how to get XP for a character. If you can solo hard efficiently like I am currently. Then I definitely suggest you go inside of hard. And uh, 
definitely go do some dungeons. So this one is a third floor and it has two different cursed skulls. Now you don't get 25k each cursed skull. This one right here you get about 5308 XP I want to say. Can I hit it perfectly on the nose? 5308 XP I want to say that's what you get. And from the second one you get about 23k. So it adds up to about 28k or 29k uh, if you include like the little other XP as well. But I think it's pretty lit. My game is actually lagging like a complete fucker right now. So I'm not enjoying this whatsoever. This hasn't happened until I started recording. So you get uh, how much XP? Uh, my XP didn't even go up that time actually. Well, you get 5,000 XP. I didn't even notice fucking I didn't get it that time. So let's rest in peace. Uh, I don't think there's a max of XP you can get. Because I've been running this all day long. And I have not seen like a shortage of it. So we'll do this and see if we get any XP. If, there is, if I don't then there must be a cap for like 10 or so fucking dungeons. But that's fucking stupid. Can we, all right, there we go. 23,600 XP, which isn't bad since it is double XP week. I guess it's not double XP week. It's all bonuses active, which kind of includes double XP, especially if you have patron. Um, you basically get 16K on a normal day, I think, from a large dungeon. But right now you get about 27K from a large dungeon. So doing this is kind of equivalent to doing a large dungeon over and over again. And it's about the same time. You don't have to travel. The only difference is you don't get element boxes or you don't get um keys for ultra or anything like that but in u9 i'm pretty sure if you do a hard dungeon then you can actually get uh about i want to say 27 kxp right now so it's about the same and i really like that so that's that's one of the main reasons i'm doing this i want to level 28 tonight would love to get 29 tonight honestly and then maybe i'll get 30 by the end of the week just from doing this basically all week long i mean i don't really mind it i've definitely grinded for worse things and i've spent a lot more time on other shit so the fact that i found a pretty quick method for xp makes me kind of happy and i'm definitely going to take advantage of it as i can and hopefully get to level 30 very quickly and then the next character uh, I don't know which character is going to be next. Probably going to get the candy bar up to level 30 finally. I know I say that all the time. But your boy Snowman is going to get the candy bar up to level 30. But anyways, we're going to end the video off here because I don't want to run too long. I didn't get any Radiance or S5s out of this whole run, which kind of sucks ass, but it's GG's. Oh well. But anyways, like I said, leave down in the comment section below if you guys want to see me play characters up to level 10 or just up to level 20 or just up to level 30. It does not matter to me. I'm definitely doing level 30 because... Um, I want to show you guys the mastery you get and the stat and like my end game stats on the character or whatever. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. I just like doing level 30. Plus, it's kind of cool. It's in the chat. Plus, I like getting all the mastery from it. Level 20, I kind of enjoy doing too because I like showing you guys the costumes stuff like that. But the level 10 costumes aren't really that cool. So if you guys want me to cut out level 10 gameplay completely, let me know. The Ice Age will be next, so probably nobody wants to fucking see that. And then level 20 gameplay as well. I don't mind doing level 20 gameplay. I'm not going to play characters I don't really play as. Like, I'm not going to go play the Fate Trickster again with, like, level 15 to 16 in a video. Because that's not really entertaining. I don't play that character. And the character is absolute dog shit as well. So, I'm not really a big fan. But let me know what I should do in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. And stay frosty, everybody.